Hey guys, it's Brenda from my Wee Rubens Kittle. I'm here with Etienne Soleil. He is inspired today by something that I just can't believe happened. I really can't believe happened. But he is um, the Blue Bell by Cassie Brace. And he was reborn by Lacey Molson in Canada. And... <laughs> He's a big boy, and I love him so much. Okay, he, he might have really messy hair when I take this off. <laughs> a little, little head head. So, okay. He's also heavy. Um, he is head head. Let's see. I don't know. But here's what he looks like. He is definitely my northern Canadian baby. And I love what he's wearing. He's in this outfit that has um, northern forest animals such as the deer, the moose, the polar bear. Um, well, it's on his bib too. I'll take off his bib. You guys, I can't believe what happened today. I, <laughs> I, I, it, wait till you hear it. Oh my goodness. So, here is his bib. Cute and cozy. <laughs> and here's what his outfit looks like without the bib and he also there's also a onesie that comes with it. it has simple snowflakes on it but Etienne and I are here oh my goodness he feels so real it's been a while since I been with this hobby oh. if you hear music it's my son room <laughs> next door oh look how cute he is okay <clears throat> i have some chores to do around the house i didn't do any of them yet <laughs> um <clears throat> i ended up on tiktok i am on tiktok but not as not within the reborn hobby i'm on there as my other hiking camping channel called camper shack and that's who i call myself over there <clears throat> however today it was so weird i was going to do chores and i didn't really want to so then i thought well and then i thought okay tiktok i mean an hour will go by in a blink of an eye if you're on tiktok <laughs> so i thought hey, I'll go on TikTok. <clears throat> I came across this live by this lady. And when I come across the lives, I don't always click in on the live right away. I watch for a little bit just to see if I want to be there or not. Because every time you enter the live room, it'll say, like, so-and-so joined. So I didn't. I didn't join right away. I was listening, but she was very beautiful. She looked <clears throat> a lot like me. She had the black hair and like, you know, the thick eyebrows and the, the fair face. And, but she had Inuit markings like tattoos um, that I just recently learned about. Because I want to know more about my heritage. And I am a nook. Um, I just need to learn more. But she had the beautiful markings. And she had tattoos on her fingers. Like, and she was very pretty. She was wearing makeup. Very pretty and very eloquent. And I thought, <clears throat> I'm going to... To go in this video and say hi <laughs> so I did 
I said hi from Northern Manitoba, Canada. And she's like, hi. And then I asked her about, I said, are those Inuit markings? I said, because I have family from Nunavut. And she's like, stop, kind of. And she's like, we're from Nunavut. And I told her, and <laughs> long story short, we are related. We're cousins. We're cousins. <laughs> and she even saw pictures of my dad when I was a baby with my real mom. She's like, does your dad have like dark hair and glasses and a mustache? I'm like, you did. He still does, but now he has a beard. And I'm like, yeah. And it's been so amazing. So we've connected. I found a cousin on a TikTok live, on a random TikTok live. I found a cousin from my mother's side who I don't know on my mother's side. And from a culture that I'm, I need, I feel this yearning to know more about. Because um, I work in a First Nation school, and I have been for years. I grew up around here. and um, But this lady on Friday came in for a teacher's professional day, and they were teaching us the First Peoples, the First Nations medicines used from nature. Like, she was showing us how to make teas with things that are found around here in the bush, and how to make medicines out of them, like what's good for your heart, what's good for migraines, what's good for a stomachache, and blah, 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 all these things. And I was so interested and so curious. And I was thinking, I wish I knew more about um, the First Nations people in my culture, how they live off the land. And, and I was so intrigued. And... <clears throat> Where this lady's from who came to the PD, she's from very close to Nunavut, but still in northern Canada and a place where I used to teach. My very first year of teaching, it was in Brochet, Manitoba, and that's far, far, far north, even from where I am right now. And it's a fly-in only community and it's so different up there and not too far from my my home <laughs> and I found her on TikTok <laughs> how crazy is that so anyways I just wanted to come in here and say hi to you guys and show you Etienne I named him Etienne Soleil is a French name um I was born in Quebec uh Canada and um I do know some French my parents are not French or anything. Um, my fiance's mother is French by native tongue. And although it's too bad that all of her children never learned French. But I know um, at first I used to be always fascinated with the French culture. <laughs> and then because I have to admit when I was younger, I didn't. From especially from hearing stories from my real mother's side, I didn't want to learn about being Inuit or their culture or their traditions. I didn't really, so I started concentrating on French and where I was born in Quebec. So, but now recently, since finding my half sisters, I have found them online only. Not in real life. I haven't met them in person, but I would love to. And I met this lady, my cousin, on TikTok in a live, so I heard her voice. Um, but the thing is, there's so many words in their language that I can't even come close to pronounce, like pr pronouncing. They have three... Um, 
I have another cousin who advertised on Facebook that she was going to be on the news. So I, I did. I watched her segment. But the whole thing was in like the Inuk, Inuit language. And there, there's so many, there's at least three sounds in, in their language that I can't even come close to pronunciating. It's like a, I can't even come close to saying it like a, like a, like I think the voice comes from in the throat and I don't, I have no idea how to do that. And their language is also close to like maybe the, how the Chinese speak, which would make sense because I know that Inuit people originally came from the Asian people. Ah, <laughs> So, I am having a wonderful, wonderful day. My last since Christmas, things have been falling into place for me. It's amazing and I can't explain it you hear in the news about all this tragedy and yes it's, it is very tragic or shocking like certain things being found in the sky and shot down I won't say them on my channel I did post something on Facebook one time about um was happening in Ohio and that's all I'm gonna say and I got flagged for spreading misinformation and I'm like what but this is a real thing and yet I did another post about the <laughs> if you totally got it the unidentified mm, up in the sky I didn't get flagged for that so anyways, I deleted both posts because, but other than that, I mean, the lady from Brochet, the first place I ever taught, finding my cousin on, by my first cousin, my first cousin on TikTok. Having that job that I really desperately needed being able to afford the expensive groceries and gas and utility bills have been skyrocketing through the roof. I'm so thankful that I can afford. Ugh, imagine if I didn't have the job. Like, mm, it's just so crazy. And then, of course, on TikTok, you get caught in the rabbit hole. And there were people talking about, like, how time feels faster when we're older. And we're like, well, yeah, that's just, everyone feels like that. But they're like, no, there's something different about the time. And she said, even in her house, some of her clocks have been running fast for weird reasons. And they would set the time back to the real time. And then... <clears throat> And then the clock would be fast again. And she said it's like in her house, there's not one thing that is on the same time. And I'm like, oh, that's at my house. My computer laptop is different than the time on my phone, which is totally weird because they both share the same internet. And then I, I had to unplug a clock radio because every day it would get like two minutes faster than normal. It's like, and then I change it back to the real time and it would still go faster than normal. I thought it was just my old appliances, but at my dad's house, there's one clock at his house that also runs too fast. <laughs> it's just so weird. And the things going on around the world are just crazy like tragedies and horror sadness and unbelievable things and even with the technology like I'm hearing things now there's like a smart mirror <laughs> 
We'll Google that, YouTube it, smart mirror. Oh, it's just like a smart TV, but it's a mirror. It can play music. It can play videos while you do your makeup. It can, oh, it's like, and then hearing about all this other advanced technology stuff that is, seems so sci-fi, but it's real. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to stop talking before I get myself into trouble in this video. <laughs> but it's kind of cool that I met my my real cousin. Wow. On TikTok, on a live, on a random live, by a stranger. I just happened to come by. And like, the numbers, everything's falling into place. Like, for instance, at the PD with the, about her talking about the medicines from the land. I don't want to cry. But she, because it's so meaningful and beautiful. She, she said, First of all, she said the medicine will show itself to you. Like one day she said she would go berry picking with by herself and she couldn't find any berries. But if she brings her children, all of a sudden the berries are there. It's like she said she believes in the medicine will show itself. The plants will show themselves. The fruits will show themselves. The animals that you hunt will show themselves. If you are willing to be grateful for it. And she always said, like, if she picks a flower or an herb, berries or hunts, she always gives thanks to the creator. Because no matter the name of God, it always comes back to a creator. Anyways, so she always gives thanks. And it's a wonderful thing. Being grateful for what you have, not what you don't have. Not, not worrying about other people. Not worrying about just... Being so thankful and grateful of what you have right now. Right here, right now. And I know there's tragedy going on. I know there's sickness. Like, I'm dealing with cold and I have been for a long time. But my mood is good. It's not COVID. But anyways, she made up this medicine tea for everyone to try. And I was feeling very grateful and appreciative of her coming and meeting her in the first place like we have connections even like the brochet where she comes from and she told me her mom's name and I worked with her mom so it's kind of cool but that medicine like I have clogged way up here and the medicine cleared it and a whole bunch of other people like the People were saying it didn't do anything or it, didn't, it tasted bitter and I'm like you know what it tasted good I couldn't believe there was no sugar in it because it was not bitter for me it worked on my sinuses my mood was awesome and for my friend who is also an upbeat positive thinking person she said that it helped her stomach ache <laughs> So, maybe it's true, maybe, maybe like karma is true and being appreciative and thankful for what you have right here, right now is extremely strong. Yeah. Anyways, before I sound too poo -poo -poo -poo, before I sound too crazy, 
Oh my goodness, he feels so real. I love it. It's like he has a face of like, shh, I'm trying to sleep. Shh. <laughs> so you guys, I'm going to go for now. Thank you so much for being here. I love you all. For my people who come here and have been for years, I appreciate you all. I have an idea of how to come Commoderate I think. Commoderate? Commoderate you? Commoderate you? I used to, like a long time ago, I used to have thanks to like him and I did. Like everyone who commented on my channel, I would give thanks. But now I have another idea. And I can't wait to share that idea with you guys. So anyways, Etienne and I are going to go. I'm not going to change them. He is just too comfy. Too comfy. Too comfy. Uh -huh. He's so gorgeous. Where's the thumbnail? Is this a good thumbnail? <laughs> it is, guys. Hope they have a great day. Thank you so much for being here. And until next time, very, very soon. I love you guys so much. Bye, guys. Love you. Bye, guys. Match hand, guys. My dad, I guess, love you.